Hello everyone. Welcome to another J. Robinson Art Peel Off Painting Project. Today we're going to be painting something very fun, very easy, and this, I mean, is very fun. And it is very easy. However, what we're going to be painting today is something we like to call kooky birds. Now, kooky birds is not just one painting. It's actually three. However, if you're painting as a kit, you will get all three. If you're painting as a workshop, then you'll probably get one or a choice of one of the three. However, just to go forward, Peel Off just makes the project so fun, so easy by affixing the images to the canvas and allowing you to paint all kind of backgrounds and add little elements that you like. So before we get started and before I reveal exactly what we'll be doing here today, let's talk about what you get. You get a pack of brushes. You also get a plastic apron. You get a paper towel. Of course, you're going to want to have more, but we provide you with a paper towel. We also give you all the colors for this project. And today, it happens to be a bunch. We're doing yellow, green, purple, black, turquoise, orange and pink now I like to have my own little brushes and I'm sure you do too so today I'm going to be painting with these few little brushes right here and don't forget to put a cup of water off to the side for yourself so let's just take a look at some of them this is one of the cookie birds which will also be accompanied by the one in the middle and this is the one we're going to be painting today just to show you how fun and easy and simple it is. So I'm just going to replace this one here and let's just move these out of the way. Now I should point out that I'm going for symmetry. So this will be my first hung. This will be my second and I'll try to make my background resemble this one. So when it's over as a third, it'll kind of look like a set. So without further ado, let's just get started. Let me straighten out the canvas. And let's paint away. So I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to load it with some yellow and just kind of splash that around the top of the canvas. So I'm just going to paint from top and I think I'll come down to about maybe here. So that'll be where I stop. So I'm just going to go side to side, left to right. And remember, we always give you more colors than you'll actually need for the project. I would not suggest that you squeeze them all out at one time because you may want to use them for something else or a future project or to come back later and add some stuff. So here, I'm just going to keep painting till I get down to what I call my stop line, which I've only established just so you'll at least know where I'm going. Now, the cool thing about painting on an actual canvas is you can wrap it. You can paint on its side. So I'm just going to tilt this slightly so I don't lose camera on you. I'm just going to paint the side. And then I'm going to tilt it upwards a little bit. And paint the other side. Let's just get this in really quick. And then, of course, there's the top. So I'm just going to take some color and I'm just trying to keep it in camera for you. I'm just going to put some color along the top. And there. Let me just get back to my position. That's good, right? Okay. So now I'm just going to wipe my brush. And I'm going to just pick up a little white. Now the white is just going to add a little bit of a line here that's kind of a lighter color. And then I'll wrap that one time too. Let me get back to position. And then the next color I'm going to use will be an orange. So I'm going to take a little orange, stir it up a little bit, try to get a little light. And then I'm just going to sweep that right across. Maybe I'll bring that down to about a band's length, maybe about there. That's good enough. So I'm going to put this color in here. And of course, we're going to wrap it. Now see how I'm going right up to the line of the yellow and then I'll wrap it 
This is really quick. It seems like it may take a while, but it's, it's not. It's, it's a really fast process. Just showing you as I do it. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off my brush, dip it in the water. That sound you hear is me ringing the bell, smacking the cup from side to side. The brush inside the cup from side to side. Now down here, I'm just gonna take some pink and I'm gonna finish off the base of my painting with some pink. So I'm just gonna pick that up and just spread that down and around. Coming close to the orange. Because the brush is slightly wet, it's acting as a medium and thinning out the color for me perfectly. Because I don't want it strong, but you could. Your choice of colors, whether dark, rich, light. And then of course here, you wanna wrap this. So I'm gonna wrap the sides. Let me just get a little closer here. I'm gonna wrap this side. And just like the top, I'm gonna to wrap the bottom. Get some color, just need a little color. That's fine, it's good enough. Take out my brush lines and there. So now my background is completed. Clean off my brush, wipe it on a paper towel, and I'm gonna get ready to paint my bird. Now we provide you with a spatula and that spatula is there to help you remove the paint. Now you could paint with a spatula and maybe one day we will, just so you can see what I mean. But in this case, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna decorate our bird. And before I do that, I just wanna show you the other two again so you can see where and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So this bird has a little green in it, it has a little blue in it, has some purple in it, or you could use turquoise in this place. This one has turquoise and pink. So what I think I'm gonna do for this bird is I'm gonna give him or her some colors that are a little bit of everything that we used previously. Now to use the spatula, I just take it in hand, I grab it by its neck, so that I could use one of these little corners. And all I'm looking for is anything that's gonna get underneath here. Anywhere that's gonna to start to peel up. So you see, once I get it started, use my hand, I'm just gonna peel away. Now that reveals my bird shape. So now with that bird shape, now comes the coloration. So as I pointed out, maybe this bird is gonna have some combination colors. So I know that I want the wing to be turquoise. I know that I want the feathers back here to be purple. I think inside here, I'm gonna go with a little green and yellow, and maybe down here, a little pink. So that this bird actually picks up kind of a combination of all of the colors. So just to start with, I'm gonna take a pointed brush. And I'm gonna twirl it into the paint. So that I can keep it to a point and put a little turquoise on there. Now this turquoise is just so I can establish where my wing is gonna be. So I'm gonna come right in here and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have a wing that kind of goes in this shape. See, that's the makings of it. Now I just need to establish exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna paint around it. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna be this bird's wing but i'm not going to paint it first i want to paint the other stuff first so i'm going to go back to this flat brush and to start with i'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of green and i'm going to make me a very light green for the very top part of my bird so here is where i want to establish the, sh the coloration for the top part of my bird I'm trying to stay in contour shape and this is gonna be the top part of my bird. It's kooky birds, it's the name of the painting. So it's kooky bird, why not make kooky colors? So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna to try to establish maybe half of the body will be in this light 
limey greenish color. So maybe down to about there. So I'm just gonna very carefully come down to where I think the tail is gonna be. Maybe it'll be at a slight angle like that. Maybe it'll curve in back like that. And I'm just gonna say that this is gonna be where the green is. I don't mind the turquoise picking up, that's fine. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush. Yeah, I know I got a little color there, but again, it's Cookie Bird. I'm gonna grab a little white. I'm gonna grab a little pink. I'm gonna make me a nice light pink. Not too light though. Maybe, maybe more like that color, yeah. And now I'm gonna establish where that pink is gonna be, which will be right around here and here. So I'm just gonna say that this whole bottom part of my bird will be pink. So I'm gonna try to establish that. I've been very carefully going around the turquoise. I see the little opening up there. I'll get back to that. I'm just trying to block in the color, working around my wing very carefully. Very carefully indeed. And there, that's good enough. Now let me clean off my brush and go back and fix that part with that same yellow and that light greenish tone and then say let's clean up this mess right in here and right along here that's fine it's kooky bird take out some of these brush strokes if i can there so now that's the upper part body of my bird, which is fine for me. I'm okay with that. So now I'll take the pointed brush again, but I'm gonna use it sort of like a flat brush. So I'm pressing down on one side so the tip is a little bit more flat and I'm gonna go right inside here and I'm gonna add the turquoise now to establish my bird. Now, if you think the line streaked when it was just a line, imagine what would have happened had I decided to paint this whole thing turquoise, it could have picked up a lot more of the turquoise color and contaminated. And if I wasn't painting on camera and at these angles, I wouldn't have had any of those fupas. But it's okay. So now I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to go to the tail end of this bird. I'm going to pick up some purple the same way I did the turquoise so that my brush... My little pointed brush has a more of a flat tip. And I'm gonna come inside here and start establishing where that purple is in the tail section of my bird. I'm gonna be trimming this with black so I don't mind feathered edges a little bit. I'll clean them up when I go around and cartoon the bird, which is what that procedure is called, cartooning when you put black lines around an object. So here, I'm gonna just establish my purple feather for the tail feathers. Go on and take the shaky tail feather. All right, here we go. And my bird is like almost finished. So now I've established my bird's top color, bottom color, wing color, tail color, so what do you think is next? Of course, the black. See? Now the two colors that I gave you was so that you can do all three of the canvases different ways, different colors, your call, your choice. I just wanted to keep it harmonious somewhat. I didn't want to line them up perfectly, but I did want them to have a symmetry. So now I'm going to establish where my beak is. So I'm just going to say right here. I like the way that little point was. So I'm just going to come right here and say that this is my bird's beak right there. I want a little dot for an eye. And since it's kooky bird, let's put it in a kooky spot up high like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take this brush, same pointed brush, trolling and keeping it to a point. Now I want to start doing my cartooning, my outline. So I'm gonna maybe start back here at the body, 
I just very slowly drag the brush. And I want you to see how I'm doing this. Because a lot of people feather. They go, T -t 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 -t. not me. I like to lay the brush down and just drag it right on, on part of the body and on part of the canvas. And this will allow me to stay within the contours of the bird, establishing its shape. And again, if it wasn't for the angle of this camera that I'm currently using, I would have a very different look going down here. But it's okay. You get the idea. So I'm just establishing where the body is. There, that's good enough. And now let's do the top part. And of course I'm gonna do the tail, but I'm gonna save that because I wanna show you all of how I'm gonna do that tail. So now I'm putting lines just around the body of my bird. I haven't established my legs yet. I haven't put anything inside the wing part yet, which I will. Right now I'm just cartooning the outside just to give me this look right there. Okay, so now that I've established that, let's go inside and do the wing. Same way, I'm just gonna go right along the edge, maintaining the shapes that I see, so I don't lose them, make them too blunt. So I'm just gonna go right around very carefully, always constantly loading my brush, but not too much. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure. That's another thing. I'm not pushing down really hard on the brush. I'm letting the tip glide. So now back here, we've established that it's kind of at an angle. So let's take this. Let's just angle it a little bit. There. So that's good, right? You like that? And then we're gonna put the tail feathers. Now for this tail feather, I think I'm gonna play and go all the way in with each loop. So I'm gonna say that this is a feather. See what I did? I came right, right across it. And let's just go and get, get the top part in. Like that, and I'm gonna do that to all the feathers where the line is gonna come all the way inside. So I'm gonna go here and go right back. Go like that. And that's good enough. Kooky, right? Good. It's kooky bird. And over here, I'll establish that last feather. Bam! Now, let's do our legs. Now the legs, I would rather go with a nice long script liner brush. But before I do, I just wanna match this underbelly. I don't care if the line gets fatter, I just don't want that little extra line looking like it's separated. So now I'm gonna go with this script liner brush. And I'm gonna troll that into my black. And this, I think, is the easiest part, especially for those of you who say, oh, my hands shake, I can't draw a straight line. Good, because the legs aren't straight. The legs aren't straight at all. As a matter of fact, you come out and you just start automatically wiggling your brush a little bit because it's Kooky Bird. So what would be nicer than for Kooky Bird to have some kooky legs? And it doesn't matter which way you go. It just matters that you don't try to make them so straight. Let them be kooky. It's Kooky Bird. That's the whole idea of this is to have something cute, fun. You could even say childish, if you will. But it just it's just an animation of an exaggerated bird, colors, shape. So why not the feet? So maybe I'll come down to about right about here and establish that leg. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to say, ooh, the other leg is going to come out back here somewhere. Why? Because it's kooky bird. <laughs> so why be serious about it? Why keep them together? Why make them look anything realistic? 
you know, let's just have some fun with this bird. See how I go back up on the line from when it starts to spread open and I slowly just reconnect. And it's okay if you have those little things. It's, it's again, do I need to say it? Yes, it's kooky bird. So it can be kooky. It can be weird. It doesn't have to be anything that we recognize or know. It's okay. So now for me, I want to put one of my birds next to it because I do want the feet to kind of fall within the same area. So as they're hanging, it'll look like it has a little symmetry. That's good enough for me. I just wanted to see where the feet stopped. Now the lines at the bottom are arbitrarily up to you. You could take and leave that little one and do this. See, leaving the one in the middle that we made is, is part of the foot, that's fine. You can say that this particular one is, is in the back or in the front and make a whole new one. But there's my kooky bird. Yeah, that's it, I'm done. If I want to rich colors, enrich in colors, I can, but for all intent and purpose, I am done. So before we go, why don't we try to see if we can put them all together for you. See, they're different. They're the same, yet they're different, but there is a symmetry. And that, my friends, is all I wanted. So let me see if I can raise up a little bit. Well, maybe I could pan a little bit. See? Panning just a little bit for you. There's my three. There's my kooky bird. Well, I had fun. I hope you did too. You should buy this kit. Or you should paint this kit. This is a very nice set. You can hang them anywhere and just have some fun. Anybody that comes to see it are going to go, Hey, what are those kooky birds? And you're going to say, Bingo! That's what they are. Kooky birds. Well, anyway, thank you for painting with me. I had fun. Make sure you check out our website, peeloff.com. That's P-E-I-L-O-F-F.com. So you can see all the variety of kits that we offer. And we have bags and we have, uh, I'm sorry, tote bags. And we have um, summer banners for your garden. We have for glass painting. We have for wood. We have single pieces you can buy individually and place them on almost anything. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see some of the new, innovative, and creative uh, things that Peel Off and Jay Robinson Art has to offer. But again, thank you so much for painting with me. Until next time, take care.